Hello, here I show how to run that quadratic regression. First of all, there are two variables on the right side, s and s squared. So s is already in our file, but we need to generate s squared. And the command for this is gen, gen. I am typing it here, gen, s, suppose I want to name it like this, s2 equals s to the power 2 okay and it says s2 is already defined because I already did everything in order to make it faster so um, it, it this s squared is already in our list and then we go to statistics linear models since this is a linear model it is linear in parameters then linear regression and I already have my variables here on the left we have earnings on the right we have two s and s squared okay and then just click ok here is the result of the regression besides I already graphed this result and I want to quickly repeat how to do graphics here we say two-way graph and then here I have two definitions of the graphs let's look at the definitions plot two edit okay so in this plot, plot what do we have we have earnings against s and this is a scatter plot okay in the second definition here is the second definition i want to see what i have this is prediction that i previously created and this prediction is charted against s okay and again this is a scatter plot in uh, my last post again for prediction I use the line plot but in this case I don't know why if we use line plot the picture is bad it's not really a line it will be a combination of lines so I am using here a line plot and uh, for I, I put also different colors for for the data and for the fitted line okay it can be done here for the fitted line I use green okay and you will see that it's not a, actually a line it will be a collection of points and then we say submit okay so here we see that there is a slight non-linearity the green lines show the green points show the uh, fitted value which is not a straight line it is really a quadratic function and uh, it rises a little towards the end which says that it pays a little more to study longer like uh, for 20 years if you study for 20 years on average your earnings will grow uh, a little bit maybe insignificantly and besides we can look at we can look at the significance of the coefficients when we regress earnings just on s the coefficient is very significant but here when we include both both s and s squared you can see that the significance is not that important uh, this becomes insignificant this is uh, the coefficient on s squared is significant this always happens if you include variables that depend on each other obviously s and s squared depend on each other probably there is high correlation between them i don't want to look at that but anyway, this is the result.